Is everybody hearing me? Yes, sir. Okay, that's Rodney? Yes. Yes, okay. I hear you. All right, good, good, good. So let's see. Um, <laughs> this is we're doing this is the first experiment we're doing here. Oh, here I see everybody's in here. Okay. Um, well, first of all, welcome to the chat. This is our first time we're doing this, so we're kind of fresh at it. So please excuse any uh, minor. Uh, Uh, who's on camera with us? We have a lady on camera with us, and we don't know who she is. Can you identify yourself, please? Uh, I don't know how to use this thing. Uh huh. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What's your name? My name's Lenore Mans. Okay, Lenore, I see you here. Um, I have you full screen now. I'm not sure. Do you see me? Okay. I see you fine. Okay. You. Uh, what about, uh, who else was there? Uh, Rodney, do you see me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, do we have Allison uh, Lopeman with us? Okay. Yes, I hear you. Sorry, I can't get my camera to work, though. You can't get the camera to work. Okay. Um, but I can see you. You just can't see me. You can <laughs> see me. Okay, that's good. And then we have Rodney here. I see you with glasses. Are those looking glasses or are those sunglasses? Those are, I can't hear yes, you. Uh, can. you. Unmute yourself. I can, I can take them off. Oh, there you go. Okay. Where are you, where are you from? Uh, Amarillo, Texas. Texas. Okay. So it's got to be what down there? Five o'clock for you? Six o'clock? Uh, six, yep. Six o'clock. Okay. Welcome to the chat. Thank you, sir. Uh, why don't you go ahead and <laughs> give me your first uh, comment or question? <laughs> other than other than you're the best. Um, yeah. That, was that a question? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, thinking about starting a running program at okay. the beginning of the year. Uh, I haven't run for about six years. I had some injury setbacks, and I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how to begin in terms of frequency and duration for runners. Okay, have you, uh, have you done any running before? Yes. Uh, how long has it been since you ran last? Uh, six years. Six years, okay. So have you been walking uh, lately at all? Or? I've been doing your DVDs for a while. Okay, so you're fairly, you're trained a little bit, right? So you're in fairly decent shape? I'm okay. I'm getting better. All right. What I would do, especially with running, how old are you? 34. 34. I would, anything that you do, and especially running, which can be, as you know, taxing on the joints, uh, start easy. Uh, I would start with as simple as one mile light jog twice, three times a week. You know, see how the body adjusts to it, and then kind of take it from there. Um, but if you're doing a regular fitness program, and it sounds like you are with the DVDs and the videos and all that, I would ease into it slowly. So I would do like maybe you know a couple times a week at first, kind of just you know if you want to go a mile, maybe even two miles. If you're feeling good after the mile, continue on. But the thing with running is you should always kind of make sure that you're building the foundation on your training before you kind of pick up to the next level. The biggest mistake that people do is they overtrain. Okay, so if you do one mile, two miles, twice a week to start with, and you kind of you can see after a week that your body's going, okay, I can handle this, I can do this, I can move on. Then you pick up, you go to maybe three times a week. Uh, and if you do that and you seem that it's to go okay, then you increase the mileage. So what, what's your goal? You want to do like a 5K or something like that? Yeah, I want to, well, I just want to be able to run three miles maybe a couple times a week. Okay. So I think that's, that's the deal. You know, if your goal is three miles a couple times a week, start with a mile, mile and a half. Start with that. See how your body responds. Give it a couple of weeks with that. Even though you might feel comfortable and you might feel like you can go more, 
I would I would cap it at that, and then as you get comfortable, after a couple of weeks, you might want to increase your uh, your level. You might increase the distance. You might want to increase the speed. There's a lot of play play here, okay. Yeah. But you want to you want to look at over a period of let's say six months, right? You want to within six months be able to run three miles three times a week. Okay. So that's your goal. Okay. So build the blocks slowly to reach that goal. Don't try to do three miles at once. As I always say. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank All you. Right, good luck. Thank you. And, and report in. On our next chat. <laughs> we'll do that. Okay. Who's, who, who wants to speak next? <laughs> Lenore Williams. I see, still see your video. You're still uh, fussing with your video there. Did you, uh, did you get it? Liz Hobby. Liz Hobby, uh, where are you from? I'm from Prattsville, Arkansas. Arkansas. That's right. I can hear by the accent. <laughs> well, it's more of a Minnesota accent. I moved to Arkansas about 12, 12 years ago. Well, it's rubbed off on you. <laughs> yeah. I um, wish my husband would think so. He keeps um, accusing me of talking like a Canadian. Oh, well, but he's from Arkansas, so he can't really tell the improvement. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, how are you today? Well, I'm doing good. I have a, a good friend who is really doing a lot of your DVDs and so so forth. Okay. And she was telling me about this webinar, and she wanted to let me know about it, because I have a couple of your DVDs, and I'm really new to using your DVDs. Okay. And I like the fact that your mom is in the couple that I have. Right. Um, but really, I, I just came in to learn more about you and, you know, your type of exercise program. And okay. uh, you know, how, how, how old are you, may I ask? 50. 50. Okay, perfect. First of stage. That's when my mom started working out, believe it or not. Wow. Before that, she never really exited. I mean, she's, she was in... She has good genetics, so she was, you know, lean and tall, mm -hmm. but she never really exercised on a regular regimen until she hit 50. And the reason for her to start working out was that she, uh, she went through a bout with uh, breast cancer and went through one year of chemotherapy. And as a result of that, she gained a lot of weight. And uh, once she was done with the chemotherapy and was able to start, you know, doing a little things because the chemotherapy pretty much wiped her out. Um, I was able to take her and kind of give her an exercise program and start her out. And eventually within a year, she was ready to do some of our shows. And what you see with her on the shows is after this process that she went through. Wow. I mean, she looks really good in the videos. Yeah. And that's, she's already there in, in the video. She's in her fifties already. And after the spot with uh, chemotherapy and cancer. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's so she did it th back then with the shape that she was in. Uh, anybody can do it. When she came to me in Hawaii to work out after her uh, treatment, uh, she literally couldn't walk for 10 minutes without getting totally winded. She couldn't mm -hmm. do maybe one sit-up or, you know, never mind push-ups. But by the time she'd ended the program, she was able to jog about a mile and a half, uh, do 20, 30 sit-ups in a row, and do like, you know, 8, 10 push-ups in a row. So just goes to show you that anybody who's uh, – who's uh, willing to put in the time and effort and the attitude, I must say, uh, then you can re achieve really good results. So welcome to the program. And uh, you have the videos with my mom on. So these are the older videos, as I know, because we've done a lot of videos since. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you're happy with the way it's going, I would just recommend looking into our website, uh, seeing the different programs that we offer on DVD, as well as the TV shows themselves. And kind of, you know, start building your way up. That sounds good. Um, I was wondering if it's best to cross train, like do a variety of like walking, aerobics, and I don't know, strength training through, I don't know, different, the way you move in the videos, you can build strength that way. Um, is it better to cross train or is it better to stick to like one program, like running or um, just strength. Uh, my preference is cross. My preference is to cross training. Okay. 
Yeah, because I think with cross training is uh, you're constantly doing different things with the body. Now, if you wanted to take a, if you're in fairly decent shape and you wanted to take let's say three weeks and focus mainly on strength training, when you have the foundation, it's a good thing to do occasionally. Just go and say, okay, like Rodney wants to run. Okay, so he's got a fairly decent foundation with what he's accomplished so far. Now he can start a running program. So he can focus a little bit more on the running and maybe we do some of the other stuff that he's doing. Uh, so it's the same thing here. You can play with it. The, fit, the, thing, the nice thing about fitness is there's no one way. There's many ways to reach the top of the hill. And uh, it basically fits, uh, you know, whatever your body dictates to you and whatever your, uh, your uh, energy level at that, that day. And, uh, you know, just be flexible. And the main thing is to listen to the body. Because our bodies are very, very smart. And uh, uh, as long as you listen to what your body's telling you as far as your effort level and your energy and all that stuff, I think you'll be fine. There is a fine balance between being lazy and listening to your body, though. And I must say that because some people say, well, I don't really feel like working out today. And they have to kind of test and see, is it, are they coming from a place of being saying, I'm just feeling lazy today? Or are they really feeling fatigued? and the body needs a rest. So if the answer is the body needs a rest, you take that rest. If you're going, oh, I'm just feeling a little lazy and I'm motivated today, that's when I would push. Okay. So, uh, well, uh, start looking at our programs. You know, uh, you can look it up on YouTube and you can look through our website, the different sample of different workouts that we do, but I think that, you know, some of them are more toning oriented, some of them are more cardio, some of them are more uh, uh, core, some of them are more range of motion. Uh, get familiar with the website with our different programs. I think you'll find, you know, you'll find uh, pretty much we have everything there except for a specific tape on yoga, which I haven't done, everything else we've done. Do you do yoga? As far as uh, part of your routine? I, I incorporate yoga into some of the exercises and if you're familiar with it, you'll, you'll see that they're in there. I don't specifically, I haven't done a specific DVD on yoga, although I could do. I have uh, trained with yoga, with uh, the Iyengar style mostly, um, and uh, I like it. And mm -hmm. I think it's beneficial for anybody to incorporate, yes. Okay, yeah, but I, I like to, yoga. I want, to say, I want to cost you one more thing. And not, not everybody, and I mean body is, everybody's body is suited for yoga, because yoga can be also a little strenuous on people. Uh, mm -hmm. especially if you don't have the foundation and the flexibility to begin with. So if you're going into a yoga program, I would say ease into it nice and slow. Okay. Um, I Actually, as far as yoga goes, I prefer the yin yoga style. Okay. And when it comes to actually working out, I really prefer not to work out with weights. I'd rather have my body be used as part of the weight training, you know, use my body to strengthen my – my body. Okay, that's a good way to go. Okay, good, good. Because uh, I was a little concerned. I hear a lot of people who like like to use five and ten pound weights, and it's like there is no way I can do that. Well, if you start, you know, you're, sound like you're starting out. I tell you, within six weeks to eight weeks, you're going to say, okay, it's time for me to start with uh, lifting a little bit of weights as well. Because uh, once the body gets adjusted to the program. Uh, that you're doing, you'll always want to increase the level as you, as your body gets adjusted to it. So you always want to keep the, the the bar a little bit ahead of you, so you have something to thrive for. So I think the weights is a good way to incorporate in order to expedite results. But that's going to come, of course, when you're ready for it. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Who else do we have on on us today here? Let's see. I uh, have Jeff Mock. Oh, hi, Jeff. Okay. How do you do, Gilad? I'm doing fine. Are you? I'm well, sir. Where I, are you uh, from? Uh, I'm in Lowell, Indiana, which is uh, just right outside of Chicagoland. Okay. Must be so, freezing cold there today. Well, it was uh, eight below the other day, and today it's probably about 10, and we're getting a couple inches of snow, so it, oh, it's nice piling up. Nice and warm. See the, you, see the out, you see the background here in Hawaii? Yeah, I see it. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. That's in the far background there. That's actually the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> okay, what's uh, what's uh, how are you doing? How's your fitness level? Well, it's uh, you know, first of all, I would just say thanks for doing this. That uh, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I have to look for my through my bifocals to see. So I can understand that. So I have bifocal lenses. Okay. Well, and uh, you know, it's I appreciate you doing this, and and uh, I've been doing your videos since since probably the 1985. So uh, okay. it's it's an honor. I have almost everything you have ever made, okay. but uh, so that, I mean, my fitness level is okay. I mean, I can. You know, I can do the core challenge stuff. I can do, uh, you know, Lord, most Lord of the Abs, hardcore. I can do all those, you know. Okay. But, but the thing I struggle with is, is is my eating habits. My eating habits just, you know, I don't control it as well as, as I need to. You know, this last year I got off 30 pounds. But right now I, I'd really like to get my next – my goal for this year is I, I would really like to get in good shape. I mean, not just okay shape. I would really like to be fit. You know, I'm, you know, for my age, I'm 57. You know, my doctor said, you know, 190 was a good weight for me. I got down to like 185, 183. Christmas put a little bit more back on. But I'd like to get down to like 170, 160 and be fit, you know. How tall are you? Um, I'm only five foot seven. Okay. How much do you weigh now? Uh, 190. 190, five, seven. Okay. So I, I think that 170 is a good goal for you. That's, you know, first of all, um, I think that uh, you so from what you're saying, it sounds like your exercise program is, is, is a good one and that you're happy with it, right? Yeah, I basically, I, I do your v DVDs uh, anywhere from, you know, uh, five to six times a week and I mix them up, you know, I kind of, do step aerobics to, uh, you know, uh, the old interval training. I, you know, I got the whole classic collection. So I just kind of, okay. you know, mix and match weight training. And, uh, you know, yeah. I just, that's, I only do your stuff. The only thing I've ever, you're the only thing I've ever found that I can do, you know, quick fit system years ago. Your okay. workout DVDs are the only thing I've ever found that I can continually do on a disciplined basis. Well, thank you. That's, uh, th thanks for the compliment. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, um, and uh, in regards to uh, what you're saying regarding the diet, uh, I think the diet is also, it's just putting yourself into the state of mind of it. Of, it's really a diet, a way of eating, right? I'd like to use the word way of eating rather than diet because diet has a negative connotation, so it's like you're starving yourself. Uh, right. But uh, I think, you know, Jack LaLanne, remember Jack LaLanne? Yes, I, I remember, I watched the uh, Bodies in Motion video. I remember doing those in the 80s when you, Film right. those. Right. Because right. it used to be so, on ESPN. That's when I used to do them on ESPN. Right. So Jack LaLanne used to say, and he, you know, he's one of the legends of fitness, uh, the uh, exercise is king, nutrition is queen, together you have a kingdom. Okay. Okay. So basically what it means that 50% uh, is really the exercise, and I think the other 50% is really learning and 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 embracing good eating habits. Okay. Uh, I think that's that's the key because I mean everybody has you know you, I I went out yesterday and had a milkshake and then I was angry at myself and I said what the heck did I do that for right but you got to live you got to enjoy life you got right you can't be a fanatic all the time so uh, the goal is to have to do the right thing most of the time. Okay, and if you tighten up your and you make yourself a deal with yourself, let's say you really tighten up on your uh, on your diet, let's say Monday through Friday, okay, and then on the weekend you kind of let the horse loose a little bit and you kind of go, okay, I've been good all week, I can have a little bit of a, I can kind of let myself go a little bit on the weekend. I think that's probably the best way uh, mentally to go about it because then you don't feel like you're completely deprived. Um, but there's very good ways to go and really, really. Um, Oh, what happened here? Is he on? I'm here still. Oh, you're here. Okay, yeah. Um, and that is, you know, if you look at my eat, eating right, eat right now plan, have you seen that? I have. Okay. There are some foods that are just, you know, there's superfoods and there's regular foods, right? I mean, the soup, if you go with the superfoods and make that the main part of your diet, then you're on the right track. And I think that the results can come very, very quickly. Okay, it takes about four or five a week sometimes to just kind of get used to this new way of eating. Okay. But once you do, it's like you start seeing the results and they happen quickly. And then you're kind of going, oh, I like this. I like the results. It's, the results are worth 
the, you know, a little bit of things that I give up. You know, sometimes in order to get uh, agreeable results, you have to do some disagreeable things, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, giving up on, uh, you know, dessert every night is like one of them, okay? So instead of dessert every night, you say, okay, I'll have dessert on my uh, uh, son's birthday or my, you know, aunt's uh, anniversary or whatever, and kind of say, okay, make yourself little deals. And I think that's the way to go about it, and to be able to really go into a good plan of eating habit, you know, that, that really is uh, effective. And support your exercise program. Okay. Right? Because you want to see the eating plan, really, the eating is where, you know, the exercise is the, is the, is the gas burning, right? Right. And the eating is really what you put back into your body. I mean, that's, that's such a big factor in overall fitness and health. You know, a lot of people. That, you know, a lot of people look at the diet. You know, at the, at the exercise, they're going, "Oh, I'm going to burn away my bad eating habits, right? I'm going to burn off those excess calories." It's uh, it's one way of looking at it, and it can be done. But if you really want to double the results very quickly, nutrition, exercise are one. Well, I would be the first one to admit you cannot uh, exercise your way out of a bad eating habit. You can't do it. Right. 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 <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So it's a, it's a, um, it's a fine line, you know, it's like, you, you know, you don't want to be in a position where you're kind of going, well, I'm not really enjoying life because I'm, you know, eating lettuce all day long, but, uh, you know, kind of go out and graze with the cows. But, uh, you know, you want to be able to also uh, make decisions that are going to help you with your fitness goals. Right. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Anybody else would like to speak? I guess I'll go. You know, oh, there you go. Mine. Um, I'm, I'm Allison. I'm, I'm from Michigan, and I'm dealing with snow, and I'm very, very oh. jealous of your weather right now. <laughs> <laughs> and how come I can't see you, Allison? Uh, I don't have my camera hooked up. Sorry. All right. All right. All right. Um, um, sure. I actually, I jumped in because I'm, I'm actually a dietetic intern, so I'm, you know, I'm on my way to becoming a dietitian. so oh, okay. Okay. I, I liked hearing what Jack had to say. I like talking with people about nutrition, so um, okay. I kind of liking just hearing what you have to say to everyone because I kind of am here just to see how you talk to people about exercising because that's going to be a component I talk to future clients about, so right. I'm just wondering, I guess... I, I think my biggest thing is there's going to be a lot of barriers that people are going to have to why they can't exercise. And I'm wondering what, what, how do you, how do you encourage exercise to people when they have all these barriers? What are your, what are your ways to motivate people? Uh, when you talk about barriers, are you talking about um, mental barriers for exercise or physical barriers? Um, I guess all of the above, I guess, what are the most common ones you see and how do you get around those or encourage them to try and figure out how to overcome these barriers? Okay. So if it's somebody who's got a mental barrier about exercise, because many, you know, sometimes I'll hear, uh, you know, uh, specifically coming from the ladies and saying, well, I really don't like to sweat. Well, what do you do about that? <laughs> and have to eventually break through that. Uh, <laughs> You know, other people just, uh, you know, it's, in a, it's, it's, it's a physical uh, a limitation that they have. You know, they might have a bad knee, so they're constantly in pain, so that it doesn't make it fun to work out. Um, there's always a way around it, I feel. Uh, and there's always, uh, everybody has a challenge to cross and, you know, to the other side, so to speak. So um, I think that it's a very individual thing. And I think if you're going to work with clients, uh, you can't really come up with one solution for everybody. Uh, there's guidelines for everybody, but the solution uh, to every person has to be very specific to their condition, their physical condition, emotional condition, and uh, their goals. And how they, what, do, what are they willing to do in order to achieve those goals? A lot of people will say, I want to get to this point, but they're not willing to do the work that it takes to get there. You know, with exercise and fitness and nutrition, as you know, there's no shortcuts. Yeah, the shortcut, definitely. here's where the shortcut is, and it's a fantastic shortcut, is if you combine all the elements together, 
then you, your way is very quick. And that's what I think, uh, yeah. But being that you're a nutritionist, do you have any, uh, anything you'd like to uh, contribute to this conversation nutrition-wise uh, regarding what we're talking about here? Well, definitely in nutrition, that's very individualized. So you have to take a look at, you know, the person's body type, their height, their weight. Right. And I see Jeff has a goal of, you know, 170 pounds, but I, I don't really like to look at just the weight because if you want to be in, you know, fitter shape, then you're going to want to build muscle, which weighs more than fat. So you don't really want to maybe get down to a certain number, maybe go by how you feel and how things fit you. And right. how much your endurance is, you know, more things like that. Right, that of would course. Be of course, and I think that the BMI you know, is a better test than really the weight. Is body yes, mass. Yeah, uh, Absolutely, and I think that's a it's a smarter way to go. Uh, also, a lot of people can be look like they're lean, but they actually have a lot of body fat on them. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what I agree totally. It's like the more muscle you have, the more. Uh, you know, the higher the, the metabolic rate as well, even at rest. So if you can pack up some muscle, and people, you know, guys like to pack up muscle. We have no problem with the guys wanting to pack up muscle. <clears throat> it's the ladies who go, I don't want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, or it's never going to happen, <laughs> right? You, you can work from today till doomsday. Uh, you're not going to look like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger unless you do some very drastic things. Uh, so... Uh, that being said, I think that uh, everybody's got to figure out his own goals, you know, his own, his own what, ideal weight and what to do. You can choose an ideal weight. Let's say uh, uh, Jeff can choose an ideal weight. He wants to be 170 pounds, right? Uh, he might say, well, in order to be 170 pounds, I need to lose all. He can be muscular at 170 pounds, okay? It's all a matter of fine-tuning the diet and the exercise. All right, you can be 170 pounds. Jeff can be 170 pounds with 20% body fat, and he can be 170 pounds with 10% body fat. It's all a function mm -hmm. of the exercise and the nutrition, and the rest, of course. So basically, you can, I mean, you, every, every one of us can sculpt his own body to, uh, to, to, to a very large degree. And unless you have a specific ailment that is really, you know, stopping you from exercising, or if you have some type of injury that prevents you from doing certain things that slow you down, other than that, any person with the right attitude has the tools to sculpt his body the way he wants to. You know, of course, you can't make yourself taller, you can't make yourself uh, younger, but everything else is in your hands. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I just want to let you know I've been a fan of you since I was a little girl. Worked out with my mom to your videos, and <laughs> I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed this now. My young, my young children now know who you are too. So it's just getting passed along in the family. So you're keeping okay. us a healthy family. Thank you. Oh, thank you. How old are you? I'm 35. 35. Oh my. So you, if you started 30, yeah, if you started 30 years ago, you were a small girl. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen, you know who Emily is on my show? Yes, I saw okay, she so was young on there when she started. Right. right, I haven't seen her since we shot the 30th anniversary show, which was three years ago. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I happened to bump into her, and I'm going to show you a picture, because I bumped into her yesterday at the mall, shopping for uh, New Year's. Okay? And we talk about mm -hmm. it. Now, this lady, she's 43 today, and she has kids I think and uh, just so here's a picture of her you can see her oh she looks so pretty Aww. oh she's gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> uh, no she's been on the show since she's 10 years old <laughs> wow so I would love to come to Hawaii someday yeah, and meet everybody yeah. I worked out with <laughs> yeah absolutely anytime we're here <laughs> Okay, thank you. I'm just going right, to sit in and listen so, uh, to everybody else now. <laughs> if you have any, if you, any nutritional advice, jump in. Uh, All right. Okay, who else? Oh, who, who do we uh, have here now? Me? Yeah. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. You're weaving in and out. Who are you now? Okay. I who am I talking to now? This is Lenore. Lenore. Yes. Eleanor. You see me? Lenore. No, not Eleanor. Lenore. Lenore. And not Lenora either. I see you. Yes, I see you. <laughs> you see me? Okay, I see you. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Okay, good, good. We're in good shape. Um, I, I'm, again, like everybody else, except I think I'm the oldest one here, other than you. Um, and I have been exercising to your video since you started. So I, I think I'm about a year younger yes. than you. Um, and I've always been fit. I used to be a gymnast and a dancer, so doing your videos were really very easy for me. But And I loved it. I thrived for it. Um, and I kept telling everybody, you've got to do the Galati videos. You've got, he's the best. He's the best. Um, my daughter um, started doing a whole bunch of videos. Nothing ever worked for her. And she said to me the, uh, just recently, hey, mom, I got to tell you something. When I, when I do the Galat videos, I burn. I feel it. I, I, you know, he makes me ache. <laughs> but the other videos don't do that to me. Oh. And I, okay. I must say I fell off the wagon for a little while. Um, I just went through stuff and gained a lot of weight <clears throat> and didn't get out and didn't exercise. And I finally said, you know, I had it. I've got to lose this weight and took off 38 pounds and started doing your workouts every single day. I mean, I didn't miss a day. Okay. And I was a little skeptical about the weights because I had been told that you need to give your arms a rest, that you should really do weights every other day. Is that true? Um. You know, I'll tell you, it's, it, it can be true, but it also can be untrue. At all. It's very specific. Uh, it depends. If you're doing upper body work, like uh, oh, if I you, see. let's say, go do our program, right? Some of the stuff is arms only. Some of the stuff is for the shoulders. Some of the stuff is for the chest and the back. Everything right. uses the arms, okay? Uh, even when you do abdominal exercises, you're, you're somehow using the arms to lift, to come, to crunch, all that, right? So it's a matter of doing what, they, what we call the split routine workout. And we have it on, on all, pretty much all of the DVDs that I have out there, and including the shows. You'll notice that I don't repeat the same uh, body part two days in a row. So, no, for I example, one day we work the chest. The, ne the next day I'll work the back. And then the third day I'll work the shoulders and the arms. And the fourth day I'll do the hips, thighs, and buns. And that's what you want to do. So if you do, a, if you focus one day heavily on legs and shoulders, let's say, the next day you want to focus on uh, abdominals, uh, back, lower back, and chest. Okay, so that's how you do it. Um, in regards to you know not working out every day with weights uh, on arms or whatever, that's you know it's very difficult because. Uh, you know, n nobody falls into a specific category. Everybody is. Everybody. You say you just lost thirty some pounds, right? And I'm back to where I should be. Yeah. I'm with weight right now. And you're back to where you should be at this point. Okay, if you're happy with your weight, what I would do at this point is I would really, uh, you know, uh, turn the knob on on your exercise. That's what I want to do. Yes, because it, the, my the stomach. Nutrition. Well, that's the thing I'm worried about because. That I'm older. Well, now that I'm older, um, you know, I've let some of that part, some of those parts get flabby, particularly my stomach used to be really hard. And now the lower part of my stomach is a little flabby. And I'm not, I hear about friends okay. getting pucks and things like, I don't know if it'll ever be that way again. I do, cr I could do crunches for a half an hour. It doesn't bother me. And I feel a little bit of the okay. burn. I don't know with that my age, if it'll ever be back to the way it used to be if i'm if well maybe I'm, it won't be maybe it won't be completely back to where it used to be but it'll be good for where you are now right you know yeah see i have the mind I of mean, the third <laughs> you know i want to be like i was right, at 30. Right. so um well that you know like that's tough you can't you can't get yourself back to you know if you're 60 you can't be 30 you can be the best you can be at 60 right right but right. like 
for instance, if I had kept doing I mean, all, that could be great. I can't hear I'm sorry, you. go ahead. I said, if I was like you and I kept, I didn't slack off and I just continued, then yes, I probably would have stayed that way. But I think. Well, we, if you were that way a couple of years ago, then you'll be able to get back most of it now too. Okay. If okay. you told me that 30 years ago you were in great shape and now and you haven't done anything for 30 years, right. I'd say, well, it's going to be tough to get back to where you were 30 years ago. But if this is just like a year and a half or two years ago, you should be able to get 95% where you were. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, and, and, and I think the other thing I was going to ask you went out of my head because I'm having a senior moment. Um, <laughs> um, right. Get what it is. I have a good diet and all, and I'm, you know, I'm just going to continue doing your stuff. So, right. uh, and that's it. And can I increase the weights and do as much as I feel I can do right now? I'm doing eight pound weights. I think on which exercise? On triceps and biceps. I, I think you can increase, you know, increase, increase by one or two pounds at a time. You know, okay. you can go from eight to 10, okay? okay? And then from 10 to 12. I mean, that's, that's how you do it. And if you know it, and if you, if you get into an exercise and you start with the 10 and you get, uh, it feels uh, after a set or two that it gets heavy, drop it down to the eight. Okay, okay. And as for stomach exercises, I've heard that you don't have to do crunches now, that there are abdominals that you could do like standing up or sitting up if if you don't want to hurt true. yeah it's true i mean on my you know my dvd series lord of the abs yes yeah we do we have uh yeah two, two out of the dvds are basically core oriented workouts and they're done without even going to the floor that's great that's what i would prefer to do i think i will get yeah. those does the, uh, that's oh i yeah. haven't got so. Maximum, yeah, it's on the Lord of the App series. And then we have one that's specific, two of them are specifically on the floor. Because I think that the combination of both is really the best way to go. I don't think, you know, now that everybody's saying, well, you don't need to go to the floor to do crunches. But I'll tell you what, there's also a lot of benefit in doing crunches on the floor. That's what I find too. I don't feel it the same way when I do the other ab work. Right, but right. No, because the reason is because we are, when you're on the floor, you can do a lot of what they call functional moves when you're standing. Right. And functional moves do, do engage the core muscles to a large degree. But when you do specific crunches on the floor with, you know, with the turns and the twists and the, all that, you can get really deep into the muscle and very specifically to that area. Right. With functional moves, it's more the whole body moving in unison. I feel so, it more the crunches. Yeah. So there's benefit in this and there's also benefit in that. There's benefit to both. Yeah, and I love your kickboxing segment, too. I absolutely yeah, agree. You. You're very, yeah. very... Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. All right, who else wants to, uh, wants to uh, weigh in? I'm glad. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, is... Yes. Maria Jose from Maria, Illinois. Maria Jose, I see you. Okay. Yeah. How are you? From Illinois? Yes, from Illinois. All right. I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm in Hawaii. To... I'm suffering quietly. <laughs> I wanted to know what you had planned for 2018. Any new workouts? Yes. Okay. Um, I have a few plans. Uh, you know, at the end of every year, we usually kind of, I kind of go through an exercise and I say, what are my, exercise, you know, what are my uh, production goals for this year? I put down 10 or 12 things, and if I get one or two of them done by the end of the year, I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. But if I get it done, that's the main thing. So um, my goal for this coming year is to do uh, what the, two different series. One is called Bodies in Slow Motion, you know, which is a takeoff on Bodies in Motion. Mm -hmm. It's basically going to be more uh, stretch-oriented oriented, and uh, easier, you know, light exercises, but also very intense. Okay, so it's not going to be a light work. It's not going to be an easy workout. It's mm -hmm. going to be a light workout, but not easy. Sounds good. It's going to get the gun. Second one I want to do is uh, what they call back in motion, which is for the specifically for back, because a lot of people experience you know lower back, upper back, central back, uh, cervical area back, and I want to really take the back, and I've already choreographed this, and really uh, put out like three, four DVDs specifically for the back. And there's also discussion about doing another series of the shows. 
Oh, I love that. Yeah, so that's a possibility that's coming up in uh, 2018 as well. So, uh, of course, if it happens, we'll let everybody know because we're going to be excited about it. Great. I've been a fan since uh, almost 20 years now. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And what are your fitness goals for 2018? Um, well, I've added yoga because I've had some IT band and hip pain, and that's helped a lot. So I would really be interested in your bodies in slow motion. There you and, go. And then I made some tweaks to my diet. Um, I've been a vegetarian, but um, I've cut back on butter and eggs and cheese, and my cholesterol went from 211 to 157 in two months. Amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's amazing how quickly, I mean, the body, you know, maybe the first few days it resists. Mm -hmm. and it wants to hold on. The body is like a, it's, it's a thinking machine, right? It's really what it is. It wants, it wants to hold on to what it's used to. Mm -hmm. But once you get it used to the new diet, it'll respond very quickly. You know? Yes. Uh, that's uh, congratulations. That's, that's very good. Thank you. Yeah, and I think, you know, more, more than uh, physical, it's health-wise. It's, it's, it's a healthier way to go. Yes. The appearance and the appearance, outward the appearance is only a fringe benefit, right? Mm -hmm. The main yes. benefit is the health benefit. Great. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year as well. All right. Who else wants to weigh in? Chuckles. You're not going to say a word today? No, you want to keep silence? You know Chuckles here? That you guys see Chuckles? Do you see Chuckles on, the, on, on your screen, or is it only me that I see her? All right. Who else wants to weigh in? Sue. Okay, Sue. I'll wait. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, Sue. Okay, great. Um, first of all, I've been working out with you a long time too. Um, that's almost the beginning. <laughs> okay. Um, I love your workouts. I've been doing your, uh, bodies in motion and total body sculpt every morning at five. Um, with that being said, I have yeah. had that slow weight gain that you get in middle age <laughs> that I've been trying to fight. So I've looked at your um, eat right now okay. plan, and I'm trying to follow that. But I'm I don't know. I might have a really old version of it. An old what? I, can't, I see an an older version of it, maybe. Okay. Because I um I see you have oatmeal on the menu plan. Okay. For um, but I don't see where that is under green or yellow or red okay so i'm kind of confused about where kind of the whole grains fall okay oatmeal clean oatmeal with uh berries is green okay good because that's what i've been eating <laughs> um, even, though it's, even though it's beige in color it's green on the diet list <laughs> funny okay um I mean, oatmeal has so the most, doesn't oatmeal have the most boring color on the planet <laughs> Yes, it does. I have to uh, look at that boy. I might as well be. I might as well be eating cement. Oh, okay, but it tastes better than cement. <laughs> um. So my other question is, with the bodies and motion and total body stuff, I do have almost all of your videos as okay. well. But I like the surprise every morning of what's going to be, <laughs> what's going to be yes. on the show. Right. And so, I don't know. Should I? maybe incorporate some of the other videos like every other day or something so i can get maybe more intense workout then yeah perfect course. that's a good plan absolutely perfect plan you know okay that sounds good and by the way i'm calling from minnesota so yeah i'm jealous of your your view outside your window there minnesota okay <clears throat> well actually today's a nice day but the last few days have been extremely rainy here totally overcast and even slightly cool in the 60s. That's uh -huh. in Hawaii. The 60s, we pull out the big, uh, the big guns, the big jackets. And we're hoping to go um, to Hawaii, um, hopefully this spring. 
so maybe we'll figure out how to stop by and see you. <laughs> So uh, how, how you said you're middle aged? What's middle aged? Seventy five? <laughs> no, I'm fifty two. Well, almost fifty two. Fifty two. Fifty two is middle age. Well, that's what I'm considering middle age. Fifty two is young. Huh? Well, good. I I like that thought. Uh, listen, I just I just I just saw I was in New York a week and a half ago. And I uh, had uh, dinner with some friends, including Elaine Lalane, Jack Lalane's wife. Wow. You know, you know who Elaine Lalane is. She was on my show. She had their own show. Obviously, they had their own show for many years, right? Yes. You know the well. She's ninety-two, and she's the life of the party. She's younger in heart and spirit and soul than anybody that I've been with, as far as you know, friends and stuff. And she's ninety-two. And she's going strong. So it's all a matter of, uh, yeah, you have to have a little bit of luck, but it's also a lot of mental. No, that's true. And my, I guess I consider it middle age because my grandpa was almost 101 when he passed. So, so that he makes you, <laughs> that makes you a teenager <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's all the questions I had. It's great to, to see you. Well, thanks for sharing. And uh, if this chat goes well, I think if you guys like it, we'll do it again. But uh, thanks for sharing and stay warm. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, who else is with us? Who wants to weigh in? Sue? Sue? Okay, let's see. Fluffy Squirrel is here. Fluffy Squirrel, are you going to say anything? Oh, wait, Becker. Who wants to talk? <laughs> uh, Chuckles, you better say something to the group. I want to hear you. Okay, who's weighing in, guys? Fluffy, all right. Then she. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hi, this is Fluffy Squirrel. Hello, Fluffy Squirrel. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Been a long time. Very long time. Yeah. I'm not middle aged though. I'm I'm more I'm only 47. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm still a babe in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I intend to be that way for as long as I possibly can. Uh, there you go. But your workouts have helped me for many many, many years. And okay. I love them, and I'm hoping that you come out with more soon. I am. That's the plan. Yes. Plan to come out with more stuff and to uh, keep, uh, you know, keep freshening up the material. I'll be waiting for my signed copy. Okay. <laughs> you have one already, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, right. but you know, another one doesn't hurt. No, no. no, no. <laughs> so where, where are you calling? You from where are you? Uh, I'm in. I'm. Um, I'm in Connecticut. Connecticut. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's about minus three here. Nice. Yes, I'll take your 66 degrees any day. <laughs> I bet you would. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be a freezing New Year's in New York City. Oh, it's, it's too cold. I'll, I'm just going to stay in. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably be exercising. But I do, okay. um, I do have a, I don't know if it's, it's a problem, but I, um, I eat pretty clean all week. And then the weekend gets here, and I want pistachio ice cream or pizza. And, and I do give in, but then I feel guilty afterwards. Okay. So do you want to get rid of the guilt, or do you want to get rid of the ice cream? Which is it? I, I don't, well, I want you to tell me it's okay to have the ice cream. <laughs> oh, I don't want to feel bad, because I am pretty good all week. Okay. And, and I am, um, I have been on a weight loss journey for, uh, well, what seems like forever, but I finally, uh, it's finally working for me and I lost, uh, almost 61 pounds wow. and, uh, I'm now, I'm now, the doctor says, uh, I'm where I should be, but I wouldn't mind taking off a few extra just for vanity purposes, okay. but, um, but I'm, 
I've been I've been losing uh, steadily every week, even after indulging on Christmas Eve. I had pasta, which is something I, I haven't had pasta in years. I usually have quinoa or brown rice, but I wanted baked ziti, and you know, and there was cake for dessert. And these are things that I generally steer clear of. Um, but then when I have it, I just feel like I shouldn't be having it. Okay, so you want me to help you get rid of the guilt? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. say three Hail Marys. <laughs> Will that work? Uh, uh, you're forgiven. Let go of the guilt. Go back to your program. I'll say the whole rosary if, uh, if it helps. All right. <laughs> 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 there you go. Okay, I like, yeah, let go of the guilt. I, I wouldn't, you know, that, that can kind of toy with your head a little bit, yeah? Uh, well, yeah, sounds like it you're does. Doing the right thing. Sounds like you're doing the right thing, so just stay on your program. I mean, it's okay to once in a while veer off, like, give yourself a break, and come back when you're ready, you know? Yeah, at Monday morning, I'm always ready. There you go. Actually, actually, Sunday morning. But it's Fridays and Saturdays that I veer off course. Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Yeah. And what would happen if you really tightened up Saturdays and Sundays? You'd probably uh, really go over the top with your results, no? Yeah, I would, but I'd probably be pretty cranky. Okay. All right. <laughs> Are you cranky during the week? No, no. I'm very happy during the week. All right. So why would you be cranky over the weekend? Um, maybe because I need a little bit of a break from all this clean eating. Okay. All right. All right. I just want to, uh, I, I just, what I'm afraid of is uh, messing up my results. If I have an indulgence on the week, if I have a cheat meal on a Saturday, you know, or that ice cream on a Friday, I know you mentioned a milkshake. I know that would make me feel guilty, but it's so good when you're having it in that moment. And then I just let go and then I'm done with it. And then I move on. There you go. So you so you basically able to let go of the guilt, right? Well, I'm trying. I'm working on it. I just want to. I, I guess I need reassurance that it's not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna get fat again if I indulge on a Saturday or, you know, have a cheap meal. I'll take the liberty of saying that you won't get fat if you indulge on a Saturday if you're holding a good week, you know, doing the right things during the week. Okay. I appreciate that. And I have your uh, Eat Right Now plan, which is my Bible. I, I have it. It's tattered and torn, but it's getting good use all the time. Okay. Okay. So you're off the green list a lot? Uh, yeah. I do a lot of greens, a little bit of yellow, and hardly any reds, except, like I said, on a cheat meal it's with pizza or ice cream or something. Okay. But, uh, but other than that, during the week is pretty much green lights all the way. Okay, so are you at the weight that you want to be? Um, I'm at the weight where I'm at the high end of normal on the doctor's chart. Okay. And I don't want to be high end of anything. I kind of want to take off a few and be somewhere in the middle. Right now, I'm hovering at 130. Okay. And, and I'd like to be maybe 110. What, how tall are you? 5'1". Okay, so 110, yeah. Okay, all right. Yes. Yeah, Oh. What was that? Was that? <laughs> okay, Fluffy, uh, I think Orit wants to say something. Can we allow her to say something? Sure. <laughs> All right, Orit. Hi, Gilad. Hello. Hi. Yes, Orit. Can, can Hi, you Orit. hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. It's uh, been a long, long time since I've seen you. Yeah? When did we see each other? December 2nd, Long Island. Oh, yes, 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 that's right. Okay. That's me. Okay. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Uh, I didn't plan to talk, but uh, you can uh, encourage it, so uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, improvise. <clears throat> uh, I want to tell you again what I told you in Long Island. I, uh, I did, I'm not... <clears throat> Okay, I'm not lazy, and I love to I love to work out. But with I, the results I get with you, I did not get from nobody else. So, I, everybody that knows me since July, I do only your workouts, and everybody knows that I gilad 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 this gilad that, 
uh, I can talk about you forever and your, and your method. It's fantastic. Uh, I love to work out. I work out every day. Um, and I, I feel great. And to, in my opinion, uh, to feel great is the most important thing. Absolutely. I, 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 mean, I mean, not only I feel good, I think I'm healthy. I mean, I don't, yes. And, uh, oh, I, I listen to other people and I'm, I'm kind of with you. Um, I eat healthy and it's not a problem for me. Um, I enjoy the food. I love clean food. I love real food. Uh, I, I, the only thing is I, I end up spending too much time in the kitchen. I'd rather do other things, but I don't trust with my food. So, okay. what happened? Something are you, happened. Are you making food right now? Uh, not right now. Why? Why do you want to come for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're inviting, I might not make it on time, though. Right. I know. Uh, are you are you trying to ask what I'm eating tonight or something? No. Sounds like you're preparing something. Well, I just, I was late to the meeting because I had to go outside for my Israeli newspapers and such. Okay. And I stopped at the free store to get some salmon. Okay. And I have some millet ready already. I don't know if you are a fan. Millet. Yes, if you're cooking, I'm not fussy. It's an ancient grain. It's delicious. Okay. And, no, but what I want to say is that is a, it was a long process because I, I do watch Dr. Oz and I take interest in nutrition. And um, uh, to me, my body is really my temple and it's not a garbage can and I refuse to put garbage in my body. That's, the, that's all. You know what? Perfect. That's, that's the attitude. I mean, there really is a lot of garbage out there. And uh, why should we be putting it into our bodies when we have a choice? Exactly. I told them, I told exactly. That. Yes, and especially from a certain age, I think from a certain age, you really start, if you want to live and be healthy, you, you need to help to do something about it. It's not going to happen on its own. Absolutely. You know, uh, I, I, I kind of like to say that uh, until you're 30, nature takes care of you, kind of, you know? Yes. Well, you don't see anybody 30 that has any issues. But after that, you have to start taking care of nature, too. You can't right. Just, yeah, yes, okay. I agree. I agree. Your health for granted. You can't take your, you know, your, your fitness for granted. You got to help it along. Right. And when I hear people say, oh, uh, but I want to enjoy life. I'm thinking, is, is a donut or a cake, that's what you call enjoying life? To me, to enjoy life is first of all to feel well, be healthy, and I don't know, a good movie, a good book, something. I don't know. Why does it have to be food? And when people say, oh, I love the donuts, I say, well, they don't love you back. They hate you. So don't love them, it's, you know? <laughs> I like that. Yes. That's a good idea. That's very good. I like the way you present that. Yes. And I, okay, I don't know how much time I have left. So maybe one thing. The other day I was doing a Lord of the Abs, ch uh, the challenge one. Okay. Call, call challenge. And really, I feel, now I feel my abs even more when I exercise. And okay. I love it. I, I feel like maybe I'm more in control of my muscles. I don't know. Well, you probably are. I mean, that's what, yeah, you probably are. Okay. And um, I'm very competitive. So I'm very competitive. And you got to know, when I see everybody is doing it, I'm like, I have to do it. Even I, if, if I have to pause for a few seconds and count and complete, I'm doing everything. Okay. So uh, I, I had a, a few seconds, it was, it was really tough. And then I was just thinking about my midsection that needs some, um, you know, some, um, what to call it? <laughs> it needs some changes. So tune up, I, tune up, tune up. Yes, yes. So I was just thinking of it, and then it gave me more energy to complete the exercise. Absolutely. And I think, you know, I think that, you know, once you get into that groove, into that frame of mind, you realize that, uh, yeah, you're kind of hooked on the feeling, right? Gilad, I'm addicted to your workouts, period. I am, and it's a great addiction, and uh, I'm used to wake up and just picking up, which depends on how I slept, because lately I have some sleeping issues. 
about according to how I feel, what I did yesterday, blah blah blah. I, I pick one that that I that I feel like it's it's good for the day, and I do it. And today I did hardcore. Awesome. And for a change, I uh, I did not feel tired after it. I was energized. Put on my clothes, ran outside. It's great. And I can go on forever. So let me just say again, sum it up. I love, love, love your workouts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Orit, and keep fit. And uh, I think you're on the right track with the way you're thinking and your attitude and everything. And I think, it, you know, the more you stay on this road, the better you're going to get results over time. So just stick, stick to your, your plan. Thank you. And everybody and stay, not and stay, and stay addicted to me. Yes. And, ever, you know, I forgot to mention that a lot of people that know me, uh, lately, they come and say, oh, wait, you look great, you look great, what you're doing. And the frustrating thing is I tell them what I do, but nobody wants to move there behind. I don't know why. It's not going to happen on its own, so I don't know. No, it doesn't. As they yes. say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. <laughs> yes, and I'm looking forward to your new DVDs. Okay, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, working on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so happy new year, Gilad. Happy New Year, and I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you. All right. Well, that was Orit. Well, you know, my friend Liz, maybe Liz wants to talk. I don't know. My friend what? Liz. Where is Liz? She's in Arkansas. Is she, on, is she online with us? I think so. I don't see her name here. Oh, she was. I did see her. Okay, I don't know. Ah, but I'll be happy if you do more, more talks like this. It will be nice. Yes, okay. We're, we're, uh, yeah, this is our first one, so we're still kind of learning how to do this. But yeah, so far so good, right? We're still online. There's no, uh, there's no uh, any uh, difficulties, right? But, uh, right. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Gilad. All right, you're welcome, and uh, see you soon. Yes. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. All right. Who wants to? Who wants to? Uh, who wants to weigh in? That's. I, I like the idea of weighing in. <laughs> Literally weighing in. Okay. Who's weighing in with us? Let's see. Uh, let's see. I have chuckles here. Oops. Hi, Galan. There you go. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Good. Do you see me? I see you. Okay, for some reason I don't know why. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, for some reason, yeah, I can see you. But I, okay, yes, I see you. How are well, you? Have, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you're looking good. Thanks. You too. Thank you. you. It's been too long since I've seen you, though. Oh, huh? yes. So, I have a question. So, I've been dealing with a couple of injuries. Okay. But I still want to work out so how do I go about doing it without further injuring myself what kind of injuries? Um, I had a pulled head the long head of my bicep and then a ACL issue ACL oh really on the knee no good no good what what happened what did you do I don't know what I did to it but it ended up giving me a cyst around the ACL Assist. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's it's pretty painful, but it's getting better. Have you seen uh, a doctor for it? Yes. Yes. And what do they say? They, can, they, they probably can take the cyst out, right? So one doctor wanted to remove the whole ACL and replace it. Oh God, no! <laughs> don't do that. No. And I just recently had it drained, but it's still pretty uncomfortable okay so we're still hoping it'll just disintegrate after being drained but you know it's kind of hard to do lunges and some of those right. things is it the left or right knee left okay uh, but can you are you still mobile I mean are you in pain walking no um, I can walk pretty good sometimes it hurts a little but can you jog no, no jogging. No jogging, okay. So what did you say about the cyst? I mean, can this cyst be removed? Um, so the second doctor thinks that probably will just go away after being drained. Okay. So we'll okay. just wait to see what happens from the drain. Okay, all right. 
And then uh, the bicep, do you have a, a tear there or what? Yeah, so I had my arm kind of pulled funny and it okay. tore that bicep away. And that's getting better, but I still, you know, I want to still work out and do things without hurting it more. Okay, so what, 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 uh, what uh, position does it hurt most in? Pulling or pushing? Um, like doing bicep curls are pretty bad. Probably pulling hurts more. Okay, so I would, I would avoid bicep exercises for now. Because even though, you know, even if you're doing push-ups, it doesn't hurt the bicep, right? Hurts a little, but not too bad. If you do Okay. Yeah, it's trying to work out. Don't, don't, don't go into the pain. That's the main thing. Try to do other things around. The, you know, people try to go, oh, no, pain, I'm going to go through it. You can't go through pain, especially not when it's... Uh, Sounds like it's a muscular issue. So I would just, you know, advise you to stay away from uh, stuff that gives you the pain. Do other, do the exercises that are you you're comfortable with around it. You know, uh, with the knee, it's kind of tough because probably most every move is involving the knee. So just <laughs> kind of take it at your own pace. I mean, huh? Yeah. What, I mean, do, can you do the cardio and things like that? Um, so I do the cardio, but I just walk instead of jog in place or, you know, I just step instead of jump and, okay. and things like that. All right. but I do nothing wrong with move. that. So. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Okay, all right. Are you looking good since the last time I saw you? Thanks. Thanks. So you look pretty fit? I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. Doing my best. Yeah, and listen, like, if you have an injury, laying off is not a bad idea. Like I said, you know, don't try to push it. And, you know, sometimes we're, we're in the groove and we think, oh, God, if we just lose one day or two days, or if we don't work out for three days, we're going to have something gonna, well, bad's going to happen. Nothing's bad's yeah. going to happen. Okay? It's better to, to, to get back into the health, health and then start working away. So go light on the bicep. Go light on the knee. You know, do focus more on core exercises where you don't involve the knee and the bicep. Back exercise, you know, things like that. Shoulders you can do. All right? Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, sharing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants to say, speak again? I was just going to ask you one thing. Can you hear me? Yes, of course. Oh, great. Um, I get all starstruck when I see you, so you got to understand. I grew up with you, so I get tongue-tied sometimes. <laughs> well, I haven't noticed that you've gotten tongue-tied. You, you spoke very well. Oh, thanks. Well, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, what I was going to ask you is, where did you initially learn these exercises? Was it in the Israeli army or studied to be an Olympian? Well, I'll tell you, my... my, my uh my background is very versatile in sports. Uh, at first, when I was a kid, I played soccer on a team. So mm -hmm. we had all kinds of specific practices for soccer. This was when I was, you know, 10, 11 years old. Then I found out that they run pretty fast. And, <laughs> you know, then I got involved in track and field. And I became eventually a decathlete. And uh, that, brought, that brought me to the United States when I was in my early 20s to train for the Olympics. Uh, while I was doing that, I was also learning judo. And, and while I was doing that, I also served in the army. So I've done, and I was a military officer in charge of fitness of special units. Wow. And of the armor division. So I have a, my, my background in fitness is very, very versatile, okay? And I have a little bit of background in dance, and I have a little background of all these other things as well. And I've worked with the Gilda Marks and the Jane Fondas and all that back in L.A. So, my, you know, I have a lot of uh, uh, experience with different styles of exercise. And uh, what I try to do with the shows is put a little bit of all of it into it, right? With the idea of focusing on cardio, toning, and range of motion. Well, what I love about your workouts is that you really mix it up even well. And just when I think I can't do any more, you'll say eight more times. And I know, well, 
I can yeah. do those anymore. You know, it's yeah. kind of know when to stop when it's too much and right. and then when to go to the next step. And yeah. Um, yeah. sometimes I lose my count, right? <laughs> I go eight more, then I go eight more. That's because I'm new to the English language, so I only know how to count to eight. Well, you're doing a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> a really good job at speaking English. So, okay, thank uh, you. You're, yeah. you're very, very welcome. Um, are you going to have more of these? You I said hope so. Yeah, I hope so. So I would just look on what Galad Productions, like I did before. Yes, yes. We, we, you know, thank if we shoot, we'll let everybody know. You know, through the Facebook, through the emails, through the website. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. How's Ava doing? Your sister? How is she doing? She's doing good. She's doing well. She yes. doing work too. She's doing, uh, yeah. She does a lot of uh, work with uh, Pilates. Oh, good. And, uh, yeah. So she does a lot of that work. Great, great, good. Okay, thank you. All right, welcome. It looks like you're horizontal. You ready to go to sleep over there, huh? Oh no, no, no. Actually, I just had surgery, so that's why oh. I'm. In. Okay. Uh, minor surgery, but I can't okay. walk around much. I'm dying to do your workouts, but I have to wait a week or two. So. Oh, that'll make you that'll make you miss it even more. Good. <laughs> I'm in my bed, and I'm doing my bed at least to keep the arms going. So okay, all right. Yeah, much longer, I'll be up and around. So okay, well, thank you. I okay, appreciate you're it. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Happy have a happy. Oh all yeah. Right. Yes, you too. Okay. Okay. Take care. You too. Ciao. Okay, who wants to speak next? Uh, I have one more question. Yes, sir. Uh, what would you recommend for golf fitness? <laughs> well, I, I was going to say something, but we have, uh, never mind. Um, golf fitness, uh, gee whiz. I think in golf, there's a, there's a lot of it, it's coordination, right? Yeah. But I think a lot of it incorporates core also because you, you yeah. turn so much in your body. So, yes. you know, it's it, the, you know, the Lord of the abs, <clears throat> excuse me, the Lord of the abs really has helped me with that. Okay. Then I would stick with that. Yeah. I mean, that, that, I was just going to say Lord of the abs has probably a variety of exercises in it that can probably help you or be supportive of the golf. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Who's next? I have a question. And who's who am I talking to? Rodney. Rodney. Where what, are you? What is your what is your favorite DVD that you've put together? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Uh, my favorite. Um, I mean, I know you. Me. I know you got to sell all of them, but you know what? Which one is your favorite? Which one is my favorite to do? I would say, um, it's hard for me to say. It depends what mood I'm in. All right. Okay. I say that uh, the Ultimate Body Stop series, I, I really like the three workouts there. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the Lord of the Abs series. Um, um, which one else do we have? The Express is good, but it's a little bit short for me. Okay. Um, but I say, if I, you know, and I do, I, I, if I'm in a rush and I can't get outdoors, I'll throw in a DVD and I'll do it. Okay. For example, if you know, if you're familiar with the hardcore workout from the Lord of the Abs, yeah. it has four circuits, right? Well, at this point, since I haven't done it in a while, if I get to the third circuit alive, I'm like, I'm ahead of the game. By the fourth circuit, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating bullets. I mean, I'm, I'm having a hard time completing the yeah. fourth. So when somebody on this chat is telling me they've done the, the hardcore, I'm going, wow, okay. Because I know how hard that workout is. And I'm in fairly decent shape. You know, uh, my default is fairly decent. Yeah. So if I'm doing the, you know, the core, uh, the hardcore, and I'm only getting to the third set, and by the fourth set, I'm like, you know, praying that it's finished already. I know that it's a hard workout. Excellent. Have you done it? Have you done I that? have, yes. Okay. Yes. So you know that if you're doing the moves correctly, if you're doing execute, by the time you get to the fourth set, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You're welcome. All right, who's next? Oh, it? Becker is back. 
uh, let's see. All right. Okay. Anybody else wants to weigh in? You want to share your New Year's resolutions? Uh, what you're doing for the New Year? Uh, any of that? Uh, Chuckles, what are you doing for the New Year's? So my goal is to eat an apple a day. You know, if you eat an apple a day for 100 years, you would have lived a long life. <laughs> What's your goal? My goal in 2018? Yeah. To continue what I've been doing in 2017. And that is? Oh. You got to share what uh, that is. To stay fit, to stay healthy, to expand emotionally, mentally, spiritually, uh, to be able to tie my shoes in the morning, uh, <laughs> to be able to, uh, yeah fill up gas in my car, and I have very <laughs> small goals. <laughs> and to shoot more videos this year. Good, good. Yeah, that's my goal. How about a camp? We're talking about a camp. <laughs> I know that this might, that might sound like a private conversation to some of you on the like, but uh, uh, Chuckles here has been in how many of our camps? Five. Five of our fitness camps in Hawaii. Uh, you, the first one you did was 2010, right? Uh, 2011. 2011, and you've been to every one of them in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this year we're thinking about doing the camp again. Now we're just trying to figure out what the dates will be. Um, and whether we want to do it in Hawaii or maybe a location on the mainland. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a location on the mainland. But uh, we're still trying to figure this out. Okay, got to let us know. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> the best vacation ever. Oh, uh, it's, it's what? The best vacation ever. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was, was, was a lot of fun. Make good friends, good people, good, huh? Everything's good. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing bad comes out of it. <laughs> Nothing bad. Yeah. All right. So, uh, anybody else wants to say? Cindy Looker, you haven't said a word today. What's with you? Are you going to be silent there? Hi, Gilad. Hi. There you go. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm good. How come, you keep, how, can, how come you, you're, you're keeping quiet this whole time? Well, I had a gum surgery so my lips are kind of swollen right now <laughs> oh okay got it okay but um i'm back to working out with you i hurt my back this summer but um i'm starting my workouts back after my surgery and you had, um, you had a back surgery no i had i had gum oh, surgery dental so surgery what, what so, happened to your back oh i i pulled a muscle in it this summer so okay. uh, i got off kind of the workout schedule but i'm ready to get back into it now all right, all right. Start easy. As I said before, you know, start easy, right? That's right. I did abs on fire today. You what? Abs I did on fire? abs on fire. Oh, wow, okay. Right. That's my favorite one. Okay. The, the kickboxing. That's right. <laughs> you like that the best? Okay. okay. I like that the best. That's, yes. a, that's a good workout. I, I think once you get used to the routine, you know, at first it can, can be a little bit uh, overwhelming because there's a lot of moves combined, but once you get to that, get the routine and really uh, own it, I think it's a, it's really a very, very good cardio, cardio and range of motion workout. Yes, it's very good. Yeah. And when you, once you get, another thing is that once you get used to the moves and, you know, you're not scared of them, uh, I think you can really put energy into the moves and then it really gives you, you know, the full benefit. Exactly. You know? I appreciate all your workouts. I've I've been working out with you since um, 1988. Okay, so we've been together a long time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, happy New Year. I hope you uh, your uh, pain in your lips subsides. Thank and, you. <laughs> uh, get back into the shape you want to be in. Well, I do have a question. I've um, you know, I'm 54, so my meta metabolism has kind of slowed down and since okay. I've been off the workout schedule for the past uh, three months. 
I'm back. I'm going back into it now, but what's the best way to lose about eight pounds? To lose eight pounds? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's about how much I want to lose. Okay. Uh, is it kind of sitting in little areas that you don't want it to sit in? Yes, yeah, mainly my my stomach area. <laughs> stomach area. Okay. So I'd say, uh, and you have the DVDs, right? You have all the DVDs? Oh, I have nearly your whole collection. <laughs> okay. Here's, here, seriously, if you want to do like a two or three week bang, right? really go for it. Lord of the Abs, one at a time, all the way through. Ultimate Body Sculpt, all the way through. Right? And then you can add the Elite Forces as number nine. And then take one day off and start over again. So you do that for a whole week, seven days? Ten days. Ten days, okay. Yeah. And then one day off? You can do one in a row, right? Because it sounds like overall, I mean, you're in very, basically you're in good shape. Right. So just take one in a row, one day, to, you know, each a DVD per day. Okay. Five, five of them are Lord of the App, three of them are Ultimate Body Sculpt. One is Elite Forces. They tend to take off. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And then send a note uh, on the Facebook and report it. All right. I'll do that. All right. And a Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, too. All right. And thanks, thanks for not staying shy. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. You, too. All right. Who else wants to say something before we... Uh, before we... Uh, before we go home, let's see who else do we have with us? Happy New Year. Okay, Happy New Year, Fluffy Squirrel. Uh, Marissa is still with us. Lenore is still with us. Oh, here's everybody. Okay. All right, you guys. So uh, I think this was a pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty good uh, little uh, excursion, wasn't it? Yeah, thumbs up. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs yes. up on that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, this is kind of it's, it's interesting. Technology constantly improves, so it gives us a chance to kind of really, uh, you know, do more things. I like it. Um, anyways, I think we'll wrap up for today. Thanks for joining. I know New Year's is coming up uh, the day after tomorrow, so uh, I'd say uh, when it comes to the New Year's resolutions, you know, in order to not uh, set yourself up for disappointments. Don't set your goals too high, you know, just try to go, okay, I can accomplish this, I can accomplish this. If you accomplish two out of three things that you want to accomplish next year, I think you're doing really well. So uh, stay focused, stay fit, stay healthy, make right choices. And, uh, and I look forward to our next chat. We'll probably do this again soon. So, I'll just have half the milkshake then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, have the milkshake and kiss 2017 goodbye with a milkshake. And oh, that would be great. <laughs> then, you're, then, you're, then you're home free for the next year. Sounds good to me. All right. So I'm thank you, Galad. This has been fun. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else want to say hi before we leave? Oh, just thank you. It was, fan it was great. and really enjoyed it. Uh, I like your hairstyle. What did you do? You combed it up? No, oh, no, that's called uh, being under a hard hat all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for joining. You, you're welcome. Thank you for doing this. And good luck on reaching that 170. Well, I just the the 10 in a row, I think I'm going to do that also. That and sounds this, like a great plan. Uh, sorry, if you can do those, ten, uh, seriously, if you can do those 10 days in a row uh, with those DVDs, set them up one at a time. I think in 10 days, you'll go, wow, amazing. And the diet and the eating plan, like you talked about. Right. Right. You know, even if you eat, you know, the thing that I noticed is like the things like the green, like the green uh, veggies, like broccoli and, you know, the, the kale and all those leafy, very strong greens. If you do nothing else but add them to your meals, it tends to kind of tie the calorie up and throw them out of the body somehow. No. I think it, it slows down the absorption, it, it helps increase the metabolic rate, and it helps flush things out. So if you do nothing else, just adding the greens into your diet, I think is a big plus. Lots of greens. 
All right, you guys, I'm going to say uh, aloha to all. Uh, Happy New Year. And, uh, and we'll talk again next year. Aloha from Connecticut. Aloha. <laughs> okay. Take care, you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.